This is Salisbury Fire Department's Training Minutes. David Haynes, Training Captain for the Salisbury Fire Department. We're going to be talking today, continuing on with our hydraulics training minutes. We'll be talking today about using the hand method to determine friction loss. And this is going to be used in our formula that we have up here to calculate our required pump discharge pressure. So specifically address the friction loss part of that formula. Now we're going to be talking today about the HAM method or the Q squared method. And the Q squared method that we use to calculate friction loss, we start with that and that equals 3 inch hose. So that's always our baseline using this method. And then we can convert from there using a couple other techniques. but Today, right now, we're talking about Q squared equaling 3 inch hose. And figuring our friction loss, we always want to account for the flow, the size, and the length of hose. So right now, the size that we're dealing with, Q squared, is always going to be 3 inch hose. Okay? And then the length, to account for that, once we're done doing a couple things, all the way over, if we had however many feet of hose, we would make a calculation to determine the total length. So, we're going to stay within the realm of 500 gallons a minute, just for easy math and quick example here. So, right under gallon per minute, I want to start with 100, 200, 300, 400, and 500 gallons per minute. So there's the flows we're talking about, and then we're going to Take that number, divide it by 100, and that Q squared is basically the gallons per minute squared after it's been divided by 100. So, uh, making this a hand method at 2 o'clock in the morning. You have your hand here, your help of the calculator, if you will. 100, 200, 300, 400, and 500 from left to right, thumb to pinky. And then the palm, you visualize a multiplication symbol, that gives you your squared. Okay? So staying within the realm of 500 gallons a minute, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 100, 200 to 500. The very first step, we'll start with 100 gallons a minute. The first thing that we would do to that number, that gallon per minute, is to divide it by 100 before we square it. So Q squared, gallon per minute squared, we're going to start with that gallon per minute number divided by 100. So we'll do that really quick for all five of these. So 100 divided by 100 will be 1. 200 will be 2, 300, 3, 400, 500. Essentially what you're doing is knocking off the zeros of your gallon per minute number. And that gets you to divide by 100. From that number, go right to your Q squared. So this is where your calculator comes in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 100 gallons a minute, we divide by 100, get 1. 1. And there's a multiplication sign, we square it, 1 times 1, 1 times itself. So for every 100 feet of 3 inch hose flowing 100 gallons a minute, there's a box name, 1 pound of friction loss. 200 gallons a minute. So 100, 200, 2 times 2, we square it. After we knock off the zeros, divide by 100, 2 times 2 will give me 4. So for every 100 feet of 3 inch hose flowing 200 gallons a minute, there's approximately 4 pounds of friction loss. 300 gallons a minute, 100, 200, 3, knock off the zeros or divide by 100, that gives me 3. 3 times 3, give me 9. So for every 100 feet of 3 inch hose flowing 300 gallons a minute, there will be approximately 9 pounds of friction loss. 400 gallons a minute. 100, 200, 300, 400. Knock off the zeros. 4 times 4 to square would give me 16. So for every 100 feet of 3 inch hose flowing 300, 400, excuse me, 400 gallons a minute, there will be 16 pounds of friction loss. And then finally, 500 gallons a minute. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 500, knock off the zeros, 5 times 5, 25 pounds. For 100 feet, 3 inch hose, 500 gallons a minute, using the 
p squared method, there'd be approximately 25 pounds of friction loss. And then from there, we take this number, and then however many feet of hose there is, you repeat this step and knock the zeros off, 500 feet of hose would be five, and then multiply that to get your total friction loss based on your length. This hand method that we just did was for whole numbers, or even 100 gallon a minute flows. It'll also work for the in-between numbers. And I'll go through some examples here with the in-between flows. Okay? So in between 100 and 200, we have 150. I'll put it over here. We have 250 here. We have 350 here. And then 450 here. And it would work the same way going right on up. Okay? So with the whole numbers, 100, 200, 300, et cetera, Using our hand method, we came across 100, 200, 300, 300 gallons a minute, and we squared 3 times 3, which gave us 9 pounds of friction loss. On the in-between numbers, instead of going from the squaring method, you find where it falls on your hand method here, 100, 200, 150 falls between the two, and you cross multiply those two fingers. So 150 gallons a minute, 100, 200, 150 falls between the two, 1 times 2 would give you 2. So 150 gallons a minute would give me approximately 2 pounds of friction loss for every 100 feet of 3 inch hose. All right. We come down here to 250 gallons a minute. So 100, 200, 300, 250 falls between 2 and 3, cross multiply 2 times 3. That means that for every 100 feet of 3 inch hose, on approximately 250 gallons a minute, that would be 6 pounds of friction loss. We're going to come down here to 350. 100, 200, 300, 400. 350 falls between the two. So cross multiply, 350, 3 times 4. Come down here. Approximately 12 pounds of friction loss for every 100 feet of 3 inch hose flowing 350 gallons a minute. And then finally, we'll do 450 gallons a minute. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 4 times 5, 450, will give me 20 pounds of friction loss. For every 100 feet of 3 inch hose, flow at 450 gallons a minute. So that's a quick down and dirty look at the Q squared method for 3 inch hose, which is our baseline for using the hand method. And then we accounted for the flow, the size, and the length, and everything we were talking about here is 100 foot. So that's today's training minute.